All right, all right, all right. Hi, everybody, hold on. My tech person is just gonna figure out how to turn this down. And of course, there's the volume right there. It's uh, complicated. There we go. Let's just turn that down a little bit. So welcome, day three of December Lives, day two of Craft Week. I'm Siobhan and welcome. Today I showed you earlier that we are doing a little tin soldier. Not a little tin soldier, a little wooden soldier. But first, let's just land in the room, shall we, a little bit? I think I might have to turn this music down just a tad further. Just take a couple of deep breaths. Come into the room. Thank you for joining me. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to be here. I hope you're happy to be here as well. Taking time uh, out of our busy schedules and in December, a little bit of self-care here. I know my December lives are for, for me and for anybody else who, who needs a little bit of community, uh, some laughter, uh, some friendship, some love, some company over the holiday season. And that is what, um, that is what December Lives is all about, broadcasting every day in December, uh, different times through the day to uh, hit up some different time zones and some different people because I want to spread the joy around. So if you, um, if you went to the Dollarama today and picked up your little toy soldier, um, as you can see, I've opened my little toy soldier. Now, the fun part about this is about eightfold. First of all, there are lots of, um, there's lots of different detail here. Like there's a belt and then there's a, a little nose and a hat. And I thought, I thought his little arms were gonna move. Hi, somebody. Uh, I don't know who you are yet. I thought his little arms were gonna move, but they don't move. What does move and what I'm really curious about is this. Now, I have no idea what this is. And I also have no idea <laughs> what these are. So, when I opened the bag, there were two... Dallas! I hope you got your craft, lady. So, there were two pieces of fur. No glue, no Velcro, and no directions. I don't know where the hell... Like, does the fur go here? Does he have a like a little furry penis? Does the fur, is it like a mustache? Does it go on, you know, does it go on this thing that's moving here? See, that moves. I was thinking maybe this, this is supposed to be like a beard and I, and I glue it on here and then like he's talking and this moves up and down. And what the hell is this? Does this go around? Like, is he a furry, is he a furry guy? Like, it, does he have a muff? Like, I honestly, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the fur. So I'm going to leave the fur because I'm already quite intimidated. What's going on, Mr. Nutcracker? Uh, Dallas, have you not been paying attention? Hi, Linda Janes. It's craft week today. I'm going 31 days live in December. And 31 days, like what the hell am I going to do for 31 days? So first up, I thought dollar store crafts. Let's make it interactive. Let's make it fun. And I'll give you the choice of coming in and having your own craft and doing these together. I'm already intimidated because I have parts that I don't know what to do with. The parts that I thought that were going to move don't move. And I've got this, what is this? What does this do? His mouth moves up and down. I'm thinking maybe the beard. The sword comes out. And six paints. Like, I don't even know. I'm a little over my head already with a dollar store craft. I'm sweating. I'm not even lying. But, you know, I'm not going to be selling this. So, what do I care? So, there was no instructions. I figured I'd get water. I'd get water. And I would get paper towel. And I've covered my, my little stand-up desk here with paper. We got a paintbrush and paints. So, I guess what I'm going to do is just get started. And uh, if you say, if you were here yesterday for my, look at my craft bag I made yesterday. Isn't that fun? I hung it. So I'm going to be lining up my crafts all week. Um, oh shit, it fell. But you know what, I don't care right now because you can't see it. Uh, and I can't procrastinate any longer on this, um, on this little toy soldier. 
So I'm gonna dive in. I don't know if, if you went out and bought your crafts or not, but I think this guy's gonna have a red head. Ha <laughs> ha! And just because I have red hair, I'm gonna give him, God, I don't even know how to open these paints. Linda Janes, where are you when I need you? You're, this is like for kids. And this is probably, oh, I got it open. Here we go. Okay, my friends, so I've got my brush. I've opened my red paint. I sent you a message. Uh, oh, we're in. Oh, where the fur goes. Okay, so I got a message about where the fur goes. My friend Linda, who works with children, um, and who should be working with me, really, she told me where the fur goes. So it's I, probably it's not a muff, and it's not a penis. So, and I know my mind went right to the gutter. Let's start painting. Okay, so my paint is in. I'm telling you, I'm nervous. I'm not a painter. I'm not a crafter. And as I said, this is um, the most complicated craft. And I put it in the second day of crafts because I'm sure by day five, I'll be ready to throw the crafts out the window. And B, um, uh, is there a B? Okay, so here I go. Oh my God, this is so much fun and it's so smooth. Jody, how are you? My friend Jody from England is watching me. I know, I know, listen to my accent. So you just come on and I don't do accents. So that's a cross between New Zealand, British, Nova Scotia, Newfoundlander, a little bit of Alabama in there and uh, a little bit of my Siobhan Coates um, accent. So here we go. Now I've already seen the brim. I'm already making a mess. So, oh my God, this is so much fun. You know, I, uh, I like smooth objects and I know I'm not alone in this. I know a lot of people who suffer from uh, ADHD, ADD, mental health, fidgeting. Uh, I have always enjoyed rubbing smooth uh, objects, smooth smooth things as a way to calm my nerves. I know, don't go there. I've already gone there with the toy soldier. Don't go there with the rubbing of the smooth things. But when I'm painting this hat and going, and going up and down on it, it's really quite soothing. I know, it's really quite smoothing. Soothing, smoothing, smoothing and soothing. So here we go. I'm painting my hat red. I am eagerly looking forward to seeing your pictures and what you're coloring because you don't have to follow along with me and coloring what I'm coloring. Like, we can have diversity with the toy soldiers. Oh my God, here we go. Oh my God, he's got a red hat. Okay, it's the small things that amuse, right? And for me, this red hat is amusing the hell out of me because I've just created something. Oh my God, look at that. You know these are gonna be Christmas gifts for people or stocking stuffers. So I don't think I really have to paint under there. I don't really want to paint under there. But oh my God, I painted something. He's got a red hat. Yay me. Red is the best. I know it is, Dallas. So, you know, with craft people, do you usually keep the paint red and then just like paint everywhere you want to paint red? I don't really know how this goes. But I do know I'm going to accessorize the hat with the belt because won't that be fun? So I am making his belt red. I might, I might, I might not like this, but I'm coloring outside the lines. And really, how do you get in between? Like, like, look at that, like between the arm, like if you see there, like how am I supposed to get in there? These dollar store crafts should have more instruction. And Linda, if you could please tell me what the hell this is. like. Is this just to move his mouth? Like, do I really have a puppet here? And it's a dollar, so if I do this too much, I'm probably gonna break it. But maybe you could give me the directions. I will make you wanna paint now, exactly. I'm sure I'm making everybody wanna paint. Okay, I'm finishing off with the belt here. Here we go. Oh my God, I'm getting his arm. I don't really know. It's a talking, is it? Oh, it is to talk. So maybe this little whiffed, that we're supposed to have super glue for is supposed to be his little mustache. And oh my God, it's a puppet and a toy soldier in one. I can have hours and hours of entertainment, like um, like uh, making him talk. So I rewatched my video yesterday and what they say is true. I am a loud talker. 
And do you know that I used to be ashamed of being a loud talker? And I was actually shamed for being a loud talker. I, I'm gonna do the shoes too. Oh shit. I was once told that somebody didn't like me because I was a loud talker. They didn't like me because I talked loud. That's like saying people don't like me because I have red hair. Or people don't like me because I, I chew my fingernails. I don't chew my fingernails. But like, what a thing to judge somebody on. Like not even to know somebody, but to just, you know, they're too loud. They loud talk. Without even saying to me, could you maybe not talk so loud when you're with me? Because part of the problem of being a loud talker for me is that I don't hear how loud my voice is in my head. Yes, some people, getting rid of the red now. Getting rid of the red, look what I've done. Red shoes, red belt, red hat. Like this, this guy is ready to go on the town. So I'm getting rid of the red. And I am now gonna use, I think we might want, I think we might want some, some green. I mean, that's a Christmas color. Look at my tie. I know they are nutcrackers. Yes, they are, Jody. They are nutcrackers. Okay, I'm going to shut this red. I'm going to go for blue. So back to my loud talking. So I have met, since I've been on my journey of uh, creating myself anew, no, not really creating myself anew, encouraging myself to come out of the closet, so to speak, I am embracing my loud talking because you know what? There are other flippin' loud talkers in the world. What? There are other loud talkers in the world? Do you know what that did for me when I realized that there were other loud talkers in the world? And I'm talking, I just kind of really discovered that like in the last five months, six months, because I've been meeting them. I've been meeting people who not only are loud talkers, but are embracing their loud talking because that's just who they are. Think about that. I'm embracing something about myself because that's just who I am. I hated my loud talking. I was embarrassed by my loud talking. I've been embarrassed. People have embarrassed me. Siobhan, you're talking too loud. Siobhan, oh my God, I'm right here in the room. It's not a nice feeling to be um, called out for something that you're not aware of. And something that you could actually fix or be more aware of. But you know, I was blessed as a loud talker for a reason. Look, even my loud talking, now I have one viewer. <laughs> even my loud talking, I'm embracing now because enables me to send out a, a better message, a big message, a loud message, which is embrace yourself, warts and all. Because is it a wart? Or did God give me a loud voice and a loud, to be a loud talker for a reason? Maybe I was given a loud voice because I have a message. Look, he's wearing a mini skirt. I still am painting everybody. Hi, Cynthia. Welcome back to craft time. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to paint the top of him blue too, like his shirt blue, just so that he's wearing a red belt. Um, yeah, so is there something that you have been criticized for that, you know, is a part of you that you were embarrassed by? And you know what? There's probably other people out there just like you. Because I'm discovering there are people out there who are like me, who are loud talkers. Ah, crap, look what's happening over here on his arm. Um, yeah, so that came up to me, for me today as something um, that I've been embracing more of, is loud talking. Because, you know, I did work. And to be fair, okay, my life has supported me loud talking. For instance, I used to work in, in the restaurant business for a lot of years. And we had loud music playing in our restaurant. And we were also close to, well, we were connected to bars. Um, this was in Nova Scotia, uh, Alfredo Weinstein and Ho. And the liquor dome, I'm going to paint this blue. And I had to talk loud. You had to talk loud for people to hear you over music. Uh, I worked with old people. I worked in an old person community in the restaurant business. How do you want your eggs done? Huh? 
How do you want your eggs done? I was a breakfast waitress. And let me tell you, there are more questions that you have to ask as a waitress working the breakfast shift than any other shift. Working the restaurant business at breakfast with, what's the puppet's name? I haven't named it yet, Darcy, or Darcy. Dallas, I haven't named it uh, yet. I think I have to see the full guy. But a restaurant, working with old people in the morning. I'll have the bacon and eggs and a piece of toast. How would you like your eggs done, sir? Huh? How would you like your eggs done? Oh, well, how could I get them done? You can get them poached. You can get them fried. You can get them over easy. <coughs> See, I can't even yell. <coughs> you can get them over easy. You get it. You can get them scrambled. You can get them poached. I think I said poached. What kind of toast do you want? What kind do you have? You can get rye. Whole wheat. You get the point. A lot of questions for breakfast. So, yeah. And, you know, then I got into um, the gym and uh, spin instructor. Okay, everybody, put your resistance on. You know, I've always been loud talking. So, you know, look at that. <gasps> the loud talking has made me cough. Look at that. Okay, we're going to make him... Um, we're gonna make his pants a different color. So let's get rid of the blue. I don't know, I think it might, I might have to be just Charlie. Maybe his name is Charlie. Charlie the soldier, actually my grandfather's name is Charlie. So let's call him Charlie. All right, we're gonna give him different color pants. Let's get out the green because, you know, I was always told blue and green don't go together. That's ridiculous. Hello, Canucks. That's a hockey team here in uh, in Vancouver, BC, for my American viewers. The Vancouver Canucks color, Charlie Christmas, yes. Is that the name of a movie? That sounds like a Harlequin romance movie. Charlie's Christmas. Join the plight of Charlie and his family as they sell their family Christmas tree plot to the evil Christmas miser who's coming in to build a shopping mall and Charlie Christmas is going to save the day. All right, that was a little crazy. Oh, I'm getting up into his tender parts. So look, one green leg and then another green leg coming up. You know, I'm going to have extra paint. I'm going to have extra everything. This is going to be great. So are you following along with me? Color blocking, you know it, I am color blocking. I think I've missed my calling. I don't feel what, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Uh, here we go, there we go, look at that, look at that. And uh, do you think I should, am I coloring this? Like I still, it's not the moving part that I thought it would be. I honestly didn't think that there would be a, uh, a moving part here, but there is. All right, let's go now, oh boy. Okay, I feel like I need to use all these colors. So here we are, getting rid of that color. Um, maybe I should use uh, yellow. Let's give him a yellow face. That's pretty close. You know, it's funny, I was gonna say, Dallas, forgive me, I could give him a black face, uh, but um, I don't even know if that's even politically correct. And Dallas, and I'm asking you this really because I'm curious, is that impolitically correct to color I'm not going to do it, but like, would that be shameful to color a black, to color him a black face? I mean, honestly, I would think that would be more kind of, um, you know, encompassing diversity. I don't know, but I'm going to color him yellow. He's a yeller. He's a yeller guy. There we go. This is so soothing. And again, this is a nice smooth surface. Again, uh, kind of soothing the ADHD. I don't have ADHD, but I like the soft, um, yeah, to some, but not to me. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to make sure on that because, you know, really, you don't quite know what was good. What was politically correct last year, uh, 20 years ago? Well, God, nothing was politically correct 20 years ago. But even, you know, you go watch reruns of a show, 
even that was like a show from five years ago and stuff what they say you can't say now. So he's a little yellow guy, here we go. And I need to use all the colors. And I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna get to all the colors. Well, damn it, I'm gonna use all the colors. I am thinking outside the box and I'm making one hand black and one hand white here for my, for my soldier guy. Okay, here we go. Um, I guess I'll use the white first because, and I got a little sword to color. You got a little sword to color? Endless entertainment here, my friends. Endless entertainment. Okay, here we go. One white hand and one black hand to use all the colors. This is so much fun. There we go. Thank you all for staying tuned. My goodness. Oh, he's got little cuffs. Okay. Look how fun that is. Look how bloody fun that is. You got this puppet looking like the rainbow. You know it. Well, they give you six paints. So I figure you got to use all of them. And honestly, what a waste of paints because you really only need, like, look, it's like paint by number. You would, you could paint a whole, you could paint a whole army of soldiers here. I'm gonna use this paint for something else. I don't know what, and not today, but it's nice to have it in my repertoire, like the markers. Okay, look at this, my friends. You know, he doesn't have a mouth. I'm giving him a mouth. Oh, I guess he does have a mouth that I have to attach the beard to. But wouldn't it be fun to have a little, I'm gonna put a little freaking mouse on him anyway, because I can do whatever I want. Here we go. Little mouth. <laughs> Look at his little mouth. He's smiling. I don't think he's got eyes either. I'm going to give him eyes. How dare they? You know, this is the beauty of being creative because, you know, I'm so bloody creative. A uh, uh, little, couple little black eyes, I think, because I haven't used the black. A couple of little black eyes here for our friend. We look at him. See, now if you're doing your own craft, you can give him a little personality. Charlie Christmas. This is Charlie Christmas, named after my grandfather, Charlie Prosser. I just decided that, and Dallas helped me name him. There we go. There's little Charlie. Um, I would do the base. I'm going to attack the sword here now. My God, if you are still holding on a mustache. Oh, Linda, you're pushing it. Okay, you want him to have a little mustache. I'm doing a mustache for Linda here. I think she just wants me to see what's going to happen here. Let me flatten out my brush. Or you just want to see my face. <laughs> oh, it's a Hitler. It's, it's Hitler. Hi, hi, Hitler. Hi, hi, Hitler. Okay, that's mean. Oh, is it? I don't even know. I mean, God. I, I don't think I have any... Um, I'm sorry, I apologize. I'm just talking about politically correct shit, and now I'm talking about, uh, now I'm making my, my little soldier uh, Hitler. Okay, and I'm saying Hitler like Hitler. That's not even an accent. Okay, my sword. My sword is gonna be all out Christmas. Um, green on top, green, and then you know what? I'm gonna have to let you guys go because, well, I don't have to let you go. I could be here all day, but I know you can't be here all day. I want to talk about tomorrow's craft. So tomorrow, uh, I've got some Nova Scotia friends joining. I am, uh, I am going live at 3 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. So 3 p.m. California time, L.A. time, uh, San Diego time, Washington time, Vancouver time, 3 p.m., which is going to be 7 p.m., uh, Atlantic time. So if you're in the Atlantic provinces, if you're in Nova Scotia, it's 7 p.m. And if you're uh, somewhere in the in the east, there were do the do the math. Really, I I can't do it all. I know if you're in Ontario in that time zone, the eastern time zone, it's three hours behind ahead. So it'll be six o'clock. If you're in the mountains, it's going to be five o'clock. I don't, I, you know what? I honestly don't know. You can, you can, you can plug in, you know, if you can't figure it out, you can plug in 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time in Google. What is that time in my time zone? I said I was going to do Christmas colors. Well, it's green and blue. 
So I will tell you the craft for tomorrow in case you want to join. Oh, he said the sword is the same color. I'm not going to glue right now the beard because you're going to see the beard. I'll show you the finished craft tomorrow. You know I'm going to stick that freaking muff on somewhere. Like, where the hell do I put this? I don't know. I mean, I don't even, I can't even find this little mustache right now. It's on the ground. So I've got a couple more things to do here. I got the top of this to do and I want to dig out tomorrow's craft. Enjoy the fire for a moment. What are we doing Friday? Aha! So Friday, we're painting again. We're bringing out our easels. So this is Friday's craft from the Dollarama. We are painting Santa Claus and his reindeer. Look how cute he is right there. This is our Dollarama craft tomorrow. And again, you don't need to have this particular craft. You don't even need to have any craft. But if you choose to craft along with me, you can pick this craft or another craft, whatever you want to do. Or, you know, if you've got, if you've got to darn some socks, you know, if you've got some socks to darn, you can darn the socks. Or if you've got, um, God, you know, if you've got a glass of wine to drink. It's really, I don't care what you do here. I am here for my own sanity and maybe the sanity of others. I don't know, I just wanted to bring joy and camaraderie this Christmas season. I honestly thought there was smoke coming. Oh my God, that looks like smoke coming out from my TV. I had to look twice, look, see the smoke? There it is. I honestly thought my hair was on fire. Oh my God, my hair's on fire, oh no. <laughs> hours and hours of entertainment, like I said. All right, so let me just look at this, look at this, look at this. Okay, this is gonna be my finished guy. Come on, come on. Okay, look at that, just wait. The pole is the same color as his jacket and I've made a mess of it. But look at that, my friends, and I want you to picture, hold on, wait for it. I'm gonna somehow glue on this little, the little stash. I'll put it in the comments when I'm done. My little moustache and God knows whatever I'm supposed to do with this muff of fur. Oh, maybe he's supposed to be standing in the snow? I don't really know. Standing in the snow? I'll figure something out. Anyway, that's it for me. It, oh God, I took, I, I was here half hour. Thank you all so much for joining in. December Lives, going live 31 days in December. This week is craft week. Tomorrow, next week is Baking week, easy baking week. What the hell am I doing? I don't know. Because not only do I not like crafts, I don't like baking. So yay, it's gonna be so much fun and it's probably gonna be easy baking with like three ingredients or less, but I'm getting way ahead of myself. We still have four more days of crafts. Five more days of crafts. So tomorrow, 3 p.m. right here, this is what we're doing. This is my guy, I'll put him in the uh, comments with his little beard and whatever the hell I'm gonna decide to do with this. I'm not quite sure yet. Thank you all for watching. Dallas, my friend, thank you for watching this whole thing. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be here tomorrow at three, December lives, hopefully bring a little bit more jolliness to your Christmas holiday in this really crazy weird Frickin' time we're in. Did you ever think you would be alive during a pandemic and have to live through it? All I can say is thank God for technology. Let's just take a minute and really, I don't care if your Zoom crashed and your computer crashed and you don't have any internet right now, you know, really, let's be grateful for technology so that we can still be together in these times. Thank you, Dallas. I love you. I love all my viewers today. Thank you for watching. Little Charlie says, thank you. Come back tomorrow for more fun and shenanigans with Siobhan. Shenanigans with Siobhan. This is Siobhan over and over.